Hey guys, welcome to Smack Talk Wrestling Reviews. I am your host, Boise, and we are NXT Review. So, we've got big announcements for War Games 2, for matches, and we have an NXT debut as well. With all that said and done, let's get straight on with the review. Let's hit the music. So we kicked off NXT with probably a match I didn't expect but was really excited when it happened. We had Nikki Cross kicking off, taking on Mercedes Martinez. Yes, the NXT uh, Twisted Sister taking on the May Young Classic veteran herself. And I thought this was a really good match. It was a surprise match and I thought, my God, WWE have got a great, you know, great idea here. The, the match itself was exactly what I was expecting from both women. Hard hitting and very, very technical at its best. Martina showing why WWE needs to sign her. Because right now she hasn't been yet confirmed if she's been signed or not. But she's been in the Mae Young Classic twice now. And for me, she is one of the most dominant women in the whole tournament every year. She had probably the best match in the whole tournament. So... I just don't understand why they haven't signed her up yet, but she really showed off what she can do against someone like Nikki Cross, who is, for me, one of the best women's wrestlers in the company as well. So it was a fantastic little match, great way to start off the show, and after the match, uh, Nikki Cross did get the victory, Martinez, just a hard hit, she even busted Nikki Cross's nose, which was awesome, but after the match, Nikki Cross was confronted by Candice LeRae, and she was... You couldn't barely hear what she was saying, but I think she was saying, what what have you done? What have you done? N Nikki walks away, giggling, laughing. Candice is like, why are you laughing? Nikki gets up to the stage, and she is confronted by Alistair Black, who ignores her and goes straight after Candice LeRae, going, where is Johnny Gargano? She goes, not here. He goes, his future is going to fade to black. This is really great. Alistair Black really going after Johnny Gargano. Brilliant match. And the after aftermath of the match with Candice LeRae confronting Nikki Cross, who is, let's be honest, the person who's who's caused the trouble for her, in her opinion. So this is really good. For me, I'm going to give this a solid 7 out of 10. Great surprise match. And the aftermath afterwards was really well put together as well. Next up, we had a tag team match, and it was the Street Profits taking on the Mighty. Now, we have seen this match a few times, and each time it's gotten a little bit better and a little bit better. This time was really good for me. Um, I was kind of thinking, this has to be it now. This has to be conclusion of the rivalry between the Street Profits and the Mighty. And I hope it is now, because they've got good chemistry. They definitely have that, but without anything you know, propping up the rivalry, like, you know, a title match or a uh, number one contender's opportunity. It just feels like there's nothing really left for them to fight. The, you know, the mighty stole the uh, Street Profits uh, cup and chains, and, you know, and that was about it. But the guys definitely have chemistry, and this match was a really solid performance. Uh, Street Profits, who are usually good fun and have a laugh with the audience, were straight on serious mode, where the Mightier were cocky and arrogant. And that's how the match really came up together. You had the Street Profits really taking control, where after a while, the Mighty started getting more and more into their cheating heel status, which allowed them to take control themselves. And then by the end stretch, you have the Street Profits getting the victory. I thought this was a good combination and a good final bout for these two teams. The next time I want to see these two take each other on now is when it gets to a title match for the NXT Tag Team Champions, which will probably take a while. But for me, good match. And then afterwards, the Street Profits celebrating with the NXT crowd. Awesome as always. So I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10. Next up, we had a backstage promo where we saw William Regal getting interviewed and asked what the what's going on. And pretty much, he has announced, at this point, two big matches. The first one was Tommaso Ciampa will defend his NXT Championship against none other than Velveteen Dream at War Games 2. Uh, before he can announce the second match, he was interrupted by none other than Alistair Black going, I want Johnny Gargano. William Regal goes, you're going to have him at War Games. And that was the second big announcement of the night that Johnny Gargano versus Alistair Black 
at war games. So this is a really good segment, you know, it's really adding on the layers of frustration for Alistair Black for wanting to get Johnny Gargano. It, now we know who the number one contender is for the NXT title, which I think is a right choice. I think Velveteen Dream has earned his chance now. Uh, do I think he's going to win? We'll have to wait and see, but I think right now it'll be interesting for Velveteen Dream to definitely play the babyface kind of role in this heel versus technically heel match. So we'll have to wait and see, but very big announcements, and we'll have one last big announcement at the end of the show. Next up, we had an NXT debut, and it was Matt Riddle taking on Luke Manzies. Manzies, who's from here, from my uh, part of the woods in, in Yorkshire. Uh, and Matt Riddle, probably the one of the biggest NXT signings in, in a while, yeah. So, you know, Keith Lee, Ricochet, NXT has such big names from the independents and Matt Riddle just fits in perfectly. The King of Bros, dude, uh, was definitely off. It was a good little start-up match. Uh, uh, Luke had a few, uh, you know, he had the power. He was a much bigger opponent for Matt Riddle to take on. Um, but it just shows you Matt Riddle's uh, going to be a brilliant technical wrestler in NXT. They got it, they got him to show off a few of his skills. It was a typical NXT debut. It was a very quick kind of match where Matt Riddle really got control quite soon. Uh, it didn't allow Matt, um, Luke Man, uh, Manzis to get too much of a, uh, you know, of, a, of a match. But Matt Riddle just showing how good he is in an NXT ring. I can't wait to see him taking on some bigger names like Ricochet and, you know, like I keep saying, EC3. Those guys are going to be real big challenges for Matt Riddle. And I think he's going to, you know, live up to the hype. But yeah, it was cool to see the King of Bros finally on NXT. So I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10. Next up, we had a tag team match where we saw Hawkins and Birch taking on Man uh, Raul Mendoza and... Carlio, Carlio, I think that's how you pronounce his name. I do apologize, I am terrible with last names. Uh, but this was a really interesting match. You had the high flying uh, team for Manda Mendoza, uh, Mendoza, Mendoza, yeah, Raul Mendoza and Carli Carlio, who were very, very high flying, very technical uh, wrestlers, where Birch and Hawkins are the opposite. They're hard hitting. Uh, ground and pound kind of wrestlers. Uh, for me, this was great. This kind of elevated uh, a, a team which was, you know, you expect to be beaten easily, but they didn't. Uh, they actually had a little bit of time to got to show off quite a high offensive in a high ring, high, high air uh, techniques, which was awesome. I thought that really sold their characters. And um, that Hawkins and Birch have two of my favourite NXT superstars in the tag team division. So I'm hoping they can get a, a title chance sooner rather than later. Uh, the match itself, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. Only because it did what it needed to do. But it wasn't going to be too high flat. It wasn't going to be too flashy because of what's going to happen next. And our main event was supposed to be the Raw Raiders versus Undisputed Errors. Adam Cole and Bobby Fish, but the Raw Raiders weren't going to wait too long. They wanted all of Undisputed, and they attacked them while uh, Undisputed were cutting a backstage promo like they always did. They cut a really good promo. They were really funny, as they always are. They, they Undisputed are the coolest guys on NXT right now, and Raw, Raw Raiders just absolutely devastated them. It's been Roderick Strong and Kyle O'Reilly started getting more involved in the brawl. This allowed Ricochet to get involved outside. It all kicked off his backstage, went outside. Then it led straight to the ring where Undisputed Era were beating the crap out of the uh, three baby faces until none other than the United Kingdom champion himself, Pete Dunne, comes out with a steel chair and absolutely lays everyone out. This allows the Raw Raiders and Ricochet to take advantage of this and knock out the rest of Undisputed Era. William Regal comes out annoyed, angry and frustrated with these eight individuals who keep on having these massive brawls in NXT. And he goes, right, if you want to destroy each other, you're going to. And we're going to do it at War Games 2. And you're all going to take part in the War Games. I think this is really cool. I think Undisputed Era, who won last year at War Games, taking on a very interesting mixed team because Sanity were the big team 
uh, last year, this time round, it's going to be the baby faces who I think are going to, I hope, I hope that the War Raiders and Ricochet and Pete Dunne do get the victory over this one. I think, you know, oh, the Undisputed Era had that big victory last year, but this year I think the babyface team does need it more than Undisputed Era. So with a brawl, the big announcement for War Games 2, I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. Really good episode again from NXT. And there you go. That was NXT for this week. What did I think? I thought it was entertaining. It was fun. You had a great debut. Big announcements. And, you know, the big question is, why did Johnny Gargano attack Alistair Black? I just can't wait to find out the answers for all this. We've got about three weeks leading up to NXT War Games 2. So it's kind of exciting to see where this leads on. So for me, my final sort score for NXT this week is going to be an 8 out of 10. Really entertaining. So what did you guys think of NXT this week? Leave it in the comments below. If you do like our videos, please like, subscribe and press the bell to keep notified. And if you want to follow us here at Smart Talk, you can do it. It's at Smart Talk YouTube. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, you can do it as well. It's at Boise88. And I'll see you guys next time on Smart Talk Wrestling Reviews.